everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel and um, as you already know from the title this is not going to be a gaming video. Now for all of you who are used to my usual gaming videos and who are now screaming at me Troy this is a gaming channel where are the gaming videos going don't worry, the gaming videos are not going away. It's just something that I want to try out. Um, it looks like a lot of fun. I've been watching a lot of reaction videos lately. And I thought I'd give it a go. So welcome everybody to my new segment, or new uh, series, uh, called Moldy's Movie Time. Where we're going to be looking at some videos on YouTube and other video platforms. Uh, and I'm going to be reacting to them. Now, if you have any videos you want to submit for me to react to, then please do. Um, I will leave my email in the description down below. Um, you can also uh, send me them on Twitter, whatever you like. Um, but today we're going to be reacting to a video called Girl Gets a Lamborghini for Her 16th Birthday. Now I haven't watched this video, um, all the videos I'm going to be watching in this series I have not watched them before so I have no idea what they're about uh, but based on the title we can guess what it might be a little bit about. So here we go, um, I've got the YouTube clip loaded. Um, we can already see the Lamborghini in question. I thought it would be a new Lamborghini. Um, it's for a 16th birthday uh, and for a girl. I guess she likes classic Lamborghinis because she's got a Lamborghini Countach here. But let's have a watch and see um, and see what happens. Ooh. All right, there we go. Only got 10 minutes for the video, so I gotta make it kind of quick. Jasmine's 16th birthday, got her little Lambo. Jasmine's 16th birthday and he's got her a Lambo. Um, I'm going to continue watching to see what this is really about. I don't think he's bought this car. I think he's rented this car. Um, I'm not going to speak too soon, but based on the neighborhood, it doesn't look like a really sort of rich neighborhood. And these Lamborghinis are not cheap. For those of you who don't know, this Lamborghini probably costs around $400,000. Uh, which is quite a lot of money to buy your daughter for her 16th birthday. Now, something else that I want to point out about this before we do continue. Those of you with a keen eye will realise it's for her 16th birthday. Now, in America, you can drive when you're 16. So, he's buying this for her first car. He's buying her a Lamborghini for her first car. She wanted an Aventador, but... Um... I figured get something older, like a Countach to start with. So let's go surprise her. Oh, there she's eating something. Hey, Jazzy. <laughs> what is that look? I think this is clearly a setup. I think she knows about this car. Because no one would pull this face if, if they knew... What was happening, they would pull this face. You know, if you knew you were going to get something, if you knew that your dad was going to buy you a really expensive present, you would pull this face. So that's what makes me think this might be fake. We'll continue watching and see what happens. But also, what is she eating? I mean, it's clearly breakfast. It looks like curry or something. Who has curry for breakfast? A little bit strange, and um, it also looks like it could be like Christmassy time. Now, a lot of people have birthdays around Christmas, so it's not that unusual. Is this like um might kind of give it away? Come this way. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, mom knows about it. Okay. You gotta go out backwards. Okay, open the door. He's telling her she has to go out backwards. How is she supposed to open the door backwards? Like you can't like, eh, you know, it's not that easy to open a door backwards. I mean, try opening a door backwards. It's not an easy thing to do. Let's see little buddy. 
Okay. What's her reaction going to be? Turn around. <laughs> oh, she honestly did not give two shits. She did not give two shits. Let's watch that a little bit again when she turns around. That that reaction was priceless. Oh, turn around. Watch again. Turn around. Wow, it's a car. I look straight at the camera. She just does not care. She does not care at all. Oh, my days. Let's keep watching and see what she says about it. She's not even looking at the car. What is that? What is that? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Before we go any further, I just want to say, um, those of you who know me, obviously by now probably know that I am a huge car guy. Um, so, you know, if I turned around and saw this car, I'd be like, holy shit, it's a Lamborghini Countach. Not everybody is a car person. I understand that. But <sighs> when you turn around and you see that, you know instantly it's a Ferrari or it's a Lamborghini. You know, if you're not a car person, you still would roughly know what it is. It's a supercar. So she turns around and she says, what is that? I mean, for God's sake, your dad has either just bought or rented you a Lamborghini Countach. I mean, you could be a little bit more grateful for it, but there we go. <laughs> let's let's keep watching. I want to see her take it for a drive. Uh, she's probably going to stall it, let's be fair. Well, it's, it's your car. No, it's not. Yeah. It's, no. It's, you wanted a Lamborghini, so... Uh, Aventador? What is that? Well, it's... it's, it's a, it... Okay, so here we go. So earlier, her dad says... I could have, you know, I could have got an Aventador, um, and clearly the dad must have known that he, that you know, that she really liked Lamborghini Aventadors because otherwise he wouldn't have said it. So now he's saying, or now she's saying, I wanted an Aventador, and he's gone out and bought a Countach. Now this is where my psychology comes in. I'm wondering if the dad has done this. Um, to give his daughter a Lamborghini, but secretly he's actually just bought it for him, knowing that she'd have this reaction where she wouldn't actually want the car, and she'd end up just giving it to him anyway, and he'd just drive it around. That is my theory. Let's see. It's what a Countach. It's a Countach. Their Countaches are good too. How old is it? Oh. It's not even new, is it? Oh my god. And I wanted it white. Oh my days. So. She's she's complaining. She she her dad has clearly I think he has bought this actually. I don't know. I mean at first I thought maybe he rented it. Now I think maybe he has actually bought it for her. Uh or for himself. Um she's complaining she wants it in white. You have a really expensive supercar sat in your driveway, you know, it's like a four hundred thousand dollar supercar. Um, you know, Lamborghini Countach, amazing car, and she doesn't give two shits. She 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 couldn't care less. All she cares about is the color. You know, you got a red Lamborghini Countach, amazing. Anyone else would be like thrilled to have that. Uh, I know I would. Couldn't even get one thing. Well, right. I, I wanted it. No, white. Come, come look I at it. it. Come look at it. White. Come look at it. 2016 Aventador. But no, you had. A Get me a freaking dinosaur from the 1920s. It's a good card. From the 1920s. Oh my god. Oh. It's it's really funny. Non-car people really trigger me. And I, I say this to people all the time. I know not everybody's into cars. But when people say things like that, it's just, it's so triggering. It just, it annoys me. People really like these cars. They're really oh. good. They're really I fast. Don't know why. Has a V12. Come look. Come and? look. Come here. Come here. What does that even mean? V12. Well, it's like engine size. Okay, fine. Yeah, come look. You're taking this back because. Well, just try. My friends figured, are gonna no. make fun of me. This is trash. Don't make fun. <laughs> Whose friends are gonna make fun of them because their dad bought her? Uh, well, yeah, they they might make fun of you because your dad bought it for you, but. You drive a freaking Lamborghini Countach, nobody's going to make fun of you. Nobody is going to make fun of you. Everyone will want to be your friend, because they'll want a ride in your Lamborghini. Like, even if you had, 
I don't know. Well, if you had a Lamborghini Aventador, everyone would want to be your friend. If you have this, people are going to want a ride even more. This is cooler than a Lamborghini yeah, Aventador, in my opinion, but there we go. You know, each to their own. Point of view? Yes, they will. Oh, that's really cool. Look at it. Look, I, I know they have, like, a, like, like nice Ferraris, and but this is a yeah, nice Lamborghini. could have gotten me a Ferrari instead of this, whatever this is. What? Well, yeah. I mean, okay, look. Now, I'm still sort of, I can't decide whether this is actually a setup. Uh, that the way she's acting, okay, I'll, I'll put it like this. My sister is not a car person at all, but if I went and bought her a car like this, she would not have this reaction. She, she would be a lot happier about it, you know. She'd be like, oh my god, you bought me a Lamborghini. She wouldn't have a clue what it is, but, you know, she'd be happy about it. She'd be thrilled about it. Anyone who has this kind of reaction, either you're a complete spoiled brat, which she could be, to be honest, or it's fake. Her dad's rented this, and they're making this whole video as kind of like, ooh, I bought it for my daughter for her 16th birthday, which is what I'm leaning on more. Let's see if we can figure it out by the end of the video. Um, I feel like at the end of the video, there's going to be a whole um, prank thing where they're going to be like, oh my god, just rented this, you know. It's not actually real, blah, 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 but let's see. What I was figuring is you could learn to drive on this, and then when you're you're comfortable with it, like, we'll get you an Aventador. So, okay, the dad's just said she can't even drive, and he's bought her a Lamborghini Countach. Now, I've never driven a Lamborghini Countach, but from what I've heard, um, and the type of car it is, they're not easy cars to drive you know learning to drive a car is not the easiest thing in the world anyway and she seems like the kind of person who might give up a little bit quickly you know um i don't want to speak you know out of turn i don't know her but she seems like that kind of person she'd get in a car and cry about it because she wasn't the best driver in the world and her dad's now wanting her to learn to drive in a Lamborghini Countach. It's just, that's not easy. You know, they're massive cars. They're really wide. The visibility is very poor. It's the same with any supercar. But he's then saying that he's going to, once she learns to drive in it, he's going to upgrade it for her to an Aventador. And I'm kind of just sat here like, this is, this is not going to end well. I want to see her go for a drive in it. Here, go get in. Go get in. Open the door. You can sit in it. Here, take, take your keys. Beautiful car. I don't want to get in it. Oh, open the door. Open the door. No, I There's, don't. Just... I told you I wanted black interior, and you couldn't even get that right. Well, the, the So, first she complains that it's red, and she wanted a white one. Now she's complaining that the interior is is tan or cream as we'd say in england and she wanted a black interior i mean to be honest i would want a black interior i love the car but black interior for me all the way but if someone delivered this car if my dad bought me this car i would be over the moon with it i, I know but the the red and tan is like a really really popular i didn't want red and i didn't want tan and i didn't want well, okay, red... Such a spoiled little brat. Like, why? Th this is what makes me think it's real, because nobody, nobody would have this reaction. Nobody would have this reaction. You know, I, it wouldn't matter what car her dad had bought. When you're 16, all you want is a car. Well, all I wanted was a car. Most people, when they turn 16, or, you know, when they turn 17 in the UK... Whatever car they have, they don't care. It's a car. You can drive around. You can do your own thing. You're free. Whether it's a Lamborghini Countach or, I don't know, a Ford Capri or, you know, a Toyota Corolla. It doesn't matter, does it? It's your car. You can go where you want. I'm still bored. Red and tan is a really me. popular color combo yeah, from, sure, sure it is. from this from period. What? Old men? Old men who think cars are cool? Well, yeah, I mean, a lot of guys, uh, do, you'll get you'll get a lot of attention. You won't get made fun of. Yeah, I will. No. You're ruining my life. No, I'm not. No, How do you even open it? There's a little, there's a little thingy down there. Just push it. How and do it'll, you... Just push, there's a little, like, button thing that you push and it'll open up. Now, the funny thing about this is, and this is what makes me, again, think that um, 
the dad has purposely done this. It's either fake or the dad has bought her this car knowing she'd have this reaction to it um, and that she'd end up giving it to him anyway. So he's basically just bought it for himself and disguised it as his daughter's present, probably to make his wife happy. He knows a lot about this car. Like he said, oh, this is a very popular, um, you know, uh, colour interior for the period. And now she can't open the door and he's saying, oh, there's like a little button that you press and blah, blah, blah. I know a lot about cars. I don't know this about a Lamborghini Countach. That's what makes me think he knows a lot about this car. Has he actually just bought it for himself? There you go. I bet she doesn't like the scissor doors. Don't just just get in it, like try and start it or something. No, I'm not getting in it. <laughs> just get in. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> You'll like it, it's fun. They're fun to drive. I drove a little bit. Okay, yeah, no, that confirms my suspicions that the dad has just bought it for himself. He's saying, I drove it, it's fun to drive, I drove it a little bit. I think he's bought it for himself, told his wife that he's bought it for their daughter to make her happy, but knowing that she'll have this reaction, won't want the car, and she's going to give it to him. Yeah, that's definitely what's oh, happening. Tonight, here. I specifically asked for less than 20 miles. How far did you drive it, Dad? How far did I drive it? Yeah. I don't know, about 100 miles? Yeah, the dad drove it 100 miles. Just saying, if she rolls up to this car, uh, up to school in this car, everyone's going to look at her. Um, she seems like this kind of attention-seeking type person, you know, that, you know, she'd be at school, she's in with all the girls, um... You know, she's doing all the selfies and all the blah, blah, blah. I don't know what girls do. I'm not a girl. But she seems like that kind of attention-seeking person. She needs a lot of attention. If she rolls up to school in this car, she's going to get all the attention, you know. Um, you probably would in an Aventador as well, but I don't know. Just try it. No. Can I have it then? No. There we go. That was it. That was the bit there. Yeah, no, that confirms that it is just the dad's car. Let me play that bit again for you. Listen to what he says. Just try it. No. Can I have it then? There we go. Yeah, the dad has secretly just bought this for himself. He hasn't bought this for her. All right. I'm not starting it. Okay, well... Look, they're looking at me now. <laughs> the neighbors are looking at you. Well, okay, how about, um... The neighbours are looking at you, like, if I was your neighbour, I'd be looking at you. You just pulled up in a bright red Lamborghini Countach, um, you know, one of my favourite cars, and you're sat there, like, I'd be thinking, you've been sat in there now for ten minutes, you know, why haven't you started the thing yet? That If I was their neighbour, I'd be thinking, oh my god, are they gonna start it, you know? Like, you've got in it, she's got her arms crossed, she doesn't even want to touch the steering wheel. Like, the first thing I do, I hop in it, I'm like, can I start it? Can I start it? Alright. Well, I'm just about out of video time. Um. Okay, I'll look for an event to door then. Yeah, and I want it by the end of Christmas break. Oh my gosh, such a demanding little word I can't say if I want to get monetized, but... I'm just thinking, like, you know, there's so many people, if you bought this car from them, they would never want to sell it, you know, all they'd want to do is drive it, you know, if I, if someone bought this car for me, I'd sleep in this car every night, I wouldn't want to leave this car, and she's just like, oh, I get me a Lamborghini Aventador by the end of the week, okay, the dad clearly is made of money, he's bought her a Countach, <laughs> for her 16th birthday, and he's now saying, like, oh, do you want an RE, do you want an Aventador, or whatever, so he clearly has plenty of money, but it's like, there's so many people out there who have to go out and buy their own car, you know, work, buy their own car, I highly doubt she has a job, anyway, that is going to do it for this video, guys, um, I hope you did enjoy watching this moldy 
Moldy's Movie Time. Um, if you want to see more of these, then suggest some videos to me. Um, I will try and find some more videos myself, but I want to see what you guys want me to react to. Um, you know, tweet me some things on Twitter or, you know, email some things to me, whatever you want, uh, and I will react to some of those. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, though, it would be awesome if you could drop a like. And if you are new around here, we did recently hit a thousand subs. So it'd be awesome if we could continue growing if you want to support us. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.